Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing very well. And on today's video, I have a ton of motivation for you guys to get up and clean something in your home. I am organizing, decluttering, moving things around, getting everything nice and clean and organized here in my home. And don't forget if this video motivates you to let me know in the comments or hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe if you're new or turn on the bell so that you don't miss any future videos. This took me almost the entire day to do. Like I said, I'll be decluttering and also my kiddos clothes. You're going to see something I did to change up where I'm putting my microwave at. But this video for sure will give you a ton of motivation. The first thing I'm doing is washing all these dishes. If you didn't know, my dishwasher is currently not working and so I have to hand wash all my dishes right now. And it's honestly a task. It's six of us and there's always plenty of dishes. And normally on my dishwasher, I will throw like the cups, the plates, the spoons and all that and wash what can't be thrown in there by hand. But honestly, I do miss it because it does help me a ton. And also on this day, I didn't clean the night before. I was so tired and I fell asleep, but I regretted it so, so much. After this day, I was like, you know what? Even if I'm tired, I am definitely going to clean before I go to sleep because I just love waking up to a clean home. I feel like it just puts you in a different mindset. It gets you more like ready for the day. I'll be using the method anti back to give everything a wipe down, put everything where it's supposed to be at. I'm also using my minky, which I purchased from Amazon, which is like a sponge on one side and a cloth in on the other. And before I start this, though, I really wanted to put some oils to diffuse. They smell so good, guys. I've been loving these. They make my entire home smell so incredibly good. So I highly recommend them. I got them from Marshalls and they're called Woolsies. And this is like the autumn I'll be giving my stove a wipe down and there I am using my minky that little harder side I used it to take everything that was stuck on these counters and then after that I'll wipe down the cabinets down here clean my fridge i am using this diy spray that i make that has water with vinegar and a little bit of dawn dish soap i always say i'm gonna fill it up and then i never do and there i am struggling to try to get as much out so that i can clean it but i do need to make some more for sure now Now time to organize these cabinets, starting off here with this one. I'll take everything out, well not everything, but on the bottom. I wanna clear that out so that I can organize it and fix things in there better. If you've organized before, you know that it's a task and it does take you some time to see how it's going to work for you, moving things around, making it more functional. So that is what I'm doing here. And then after, I'll be doing the cabinets where I have my plates and cups. I also 
needed to organize some of these drawers here because it was just too crowded in there so i wanted to clear that out and fix things like i said you just have to move things around and see how it works for you where i have my plates and cups the top shelf i ended up leaving like the big mixing bowls the colanders the blender things like that and on the bottom one i left all my plates and cups and coffee mugs and i also put the plastic containers in the drawers because i don't have many and they all ended up fitting there Okay, so here I was getting rid of all the old mail that we had. We had so much of it. But while I was doing that, my keys were under where I was putting all the mail. I picked it up. I didn't hear my keys at all. And I ended up throwing them in the trash. I didn't need them until the following day. So we were looking everywhere on all the spots I normally put them at. And I knew that I, knew that I threw them in the trash because I just couldn't find them. So I had to look at the video again. And there I found that I did end up throwing them in the trash. So I had to go to the dumpster so that I can pull my bag out and get my keys. I was so happy that the garbage truck didn't come on this day. If not, I would have lost my keys forever. My dining chairs on this day needed a good wipe down so I'll be doing that and then I'll be sweeping the floor and continue in the kitchen. I swear to never talk about it Until I start, until I start to yell Something to save us Close but we're strangers Feel like we're far apart Strip it down Ever since I transformed this little cube shelf, I ended up putting little feet on it and then that wood wallpaper. I originally wanted to put my microwave here, but not in the top. As you can see, it just doesn't go. And also, since it was taller, the cord didn't reach. So what I ended up doing was removing one of those middle pieces from the cube. So that way it fits and I love the way it looks. And this is how it looks i put the fruit bowl on the top let me know what you guys think down in the comments i love it the reason i did this was because i just wanted to clear out that counter it always had like the water the water gallons up there the fruit and just always cluttered so i just wanted to leave it more clear that way it just looked better and just made me feel better because i just hate looking at clutter on the counters now to mop my floors i am using liquid ajax so this is the way all the cabinets look now like i told you guys down below i kept the cups the coffee mugs the plates and above the blender and extra like bigger things up there and now it just feels way more functional down here i put the cutting boards and right here it's all clear i got rid of all the mail that was just in there 
here's where i put the plastic containers i don't have many so that's good for me and look at that one was the one that was super crowded and now it looks like that and here's where i keep my vitamins my coffee filters things like that and that looks way better now and here is my kitchen all nice and clean you try to make yourself feel better by taking me down once i fell but now i'm strong i'm ready for Here I'm giving this chair a wipe down. My kids, when they have sticky fingers, just leave it sticky. So it needed to be clean. After that, I'll be cleaning the windows, getting rid, well, putting away all the Halloween decor. I'm also bringing one of my little side tables from the other living room here, just because over there it was more like in the way, and over here it it looked it looked better, and it just I just wanted to change things up a little bit. I know I have a lot of gray here, and I need to get like new curtains that just are not gray because the desk is gray the chair is gray and i'll be vacuuming and then after this i'll be organizing my son's school papers because the whole week it was just all over the place we couldn't find things and just so so unorganized so i needed to definitely organize it I had that black plastic container under my sink and I wasn't using it so my son would always tell me mom where's this mom where's that and I was like you know what I'm gonna take it out and put everything he needs every single day that way it's in front of him and he knows where everything is at I've been watching you from a distance as I turn out all the lights all I want from you is to listen and remember the good times if you think of all that we this is how the chair looks with that little side table there. I ended up putting that um, vase with those flowers there. And this is how it looks. Like I said, there's a lot of gray in here, but hopefully soon I'll change those curtains. Now I'm putting the Halloween decor away that was here on the window and just like one thing that I had on my shelf. But this year I'm planning on decorating for Christmas a little bit sooner because I normally take down my Christmas decorations the first week of January. So I'm planning on decorating for Christmas like in the middle of November. And don't forget to subscribe and make sure your bell's on so that you don't miss that video. Here, vacuuming all the crumbs as you've seen from the couch. There's always crumbs under there. Giving a good vacuum, moving the furniture around so that I could vacuum behind it or under it. And then giving my table and the TV stand and the shelves a good wipe down. forget to wipe down these rails and i remembered on this day so i was like i need to do it now because then i'll forget just giving that a wipe down so i can remove all the dust this is my entryway table and as you can tell this is where we just shove everything <laughs> so i needed to take everything out throw things away or put them back where they belong
I'm wondering how many men that you trapped and dumped in the ocean. I wish that I could understand why I had this stupid crush. The girl next door was over there being perfect, getting the roses. I bet that you don't even care if my body drifts to shore. But if you ask me, I'm pretty sure that I'll come running. Though I should say, no, 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 no. Here in the here in this closet, as you can tell, everything's just all over the place. So I took out the picture frames that I had in there, some Christmas, no, sorry, some Halloween stuff, and I just had to fix everything and put it back how it normally was. That way, it just looked clean and not disorganized no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I've never choose to let this slip but I'm here somewhere in the ocean still wrapped around your fingertip just like beating around the bush I'm half the man I used to be after being dumped in the ocean so now I'm going through my son Jacob and Adam's clothes they just had clothes that they weren't using or didn't fit them anymore so I wanted to get rid of most of the things that they weren't using that way I could just declutter and keep the things that they really do use and I ended up getting rid of a, quite a few things and these things I put away and I saved them for my mom to send to Mexico I'll be using the bags that you take out the air I don't know what they're called but I get these from Dollar Tree only a dollar guys and it's really big and it holds a lot of clothes so I'll be doing that taking the air out I also needed to look through these jackets that I did put away when it was summer and I only kept a few a few of those as well and the rest I will put away for my mom I filled up one whole bag and I left one halfway because I still need to go through my older son's clothes and my clothes and my husband's clothes as well. And this is how it looks and you guys so much clothes fits in these little bags so if you're ever at Dollar Tree go look and see if you can find them because they're really good for only a dollar that is gonna be it for this video guys if you made it all the way to the end leave me a orange heart emoji thank you for all your support I appreciate it so so much have a nice day guys take care and I'll see you on the next one bye you